the same thing can occur in women as well, maybe looking at uh, breast size or body shape. All the time you can kind of look at a female and then think, oh, something's wrong with me and I, I don't match up. Um, but it tends to be focused on one specific area for males. It definitely can lead to poor self image. Um, it is very, it's a very belittling attitude to have someone's masculinity solely based on the size of their penis. Wouldn't you say? I mean, that's very kind of belittling. But we tend on, you know, female and male side to do this a lot. We tend to put a lot of worth and importance and discussion on this. And for the males, it's probably something that's difficult to grapple with, especially if there has been some, you know, teasing that occurs with males. And they tend to, males tend to be really brutal with each other. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's part of this whole, like, I'm trying to tuck you up, and I'm actually tougher than you, so now I'm really going to insult you. But then they all leave, and they're like, oh, you're so much so right? And it's something to deal with, especially if you don't have your reinforcement coming from another side to make you feel like, oh, no, I'm actually OK. Um, Another thing, when you have this poor self-image, it's kind of related to what Kelly was stating, that if a male feels like, oh my gosh, I'm not good enough, or I'm not big enough, I'm not going to be pleasing this woman, I'm embarrassed, I feel insecure, this actually can lead to a negative sexual encounter. Because he's already not feeling very confident, it's, all, it's what's called a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Females have the same thing can, that can occur. If a female sees the size of um, a male's penis and says, oh my gosh, that's not going to please me, that's not going to do anything, that's going to dissatisfy me, she may also be mentally or psychologically setting herself up for disappointment as well. Okay. On, and then again, back to that question that I asked, many times men are more concerned with penis size than women are. Men tend to beat themselves up a lot more than women do. And again, similar, um, the comment was made that, you know, sometimes a big penis is actually not desired by women. It can actually be painful. Um, it actually can, in certain circumstances, create the same sensation that uh, a male has when they're kind of kicked in the balls. That same sensation can occur for a female because his penis is kind of darned against the back of the cervix and can jar an ovary and create that same kind of sensation, and that's not pleasurable. So it can be very awkward and uncomfortable for a female. Um, not to um, try and reduce the um, importance of knowing this, but, or acknowledging this, but um, when you put this into perspective, in comparison to, I think, the female talk about not having, um, like you said, I think previously, men have this kind of thing that they're, they're obsessed about the female, that, that defines their, their self image, you know, in a way. Um, but most of the time, they're not that themselves are positive. Um, women, on the other hand, look at teenage girls, and I used to write that 90% of teenage girls talk about themselves are negative. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not just one body part, it's like the whole thing. Sure. Females yeah. are definitely socialized to pick apart every single part. Girls get separated about everything, guys get worried. Right. But I think it's dangerous to think that males are more confident than females. I think males are trained to hide it more. But I think because you have this one area, and if you feel like on some level, and really, because of this one area, it's almost a message that's sent out to all men that you don't match up. No matter what you think you are, you're really not good enough. And males are kind of like, man, this is all I have. How do I really know if I'm good enough? How do I know if I'm big enough? And men wear clothing that pretty much covers up their size. Mm -hmm. So no one really knows what your dick size is like when you put your pants off in front of them with the lights on, you know? Like, no one's really looking. So you can feel inadequate, but like, you don't have anything to base it off of. Plus, boys don't usually hang out and like show each other their dicks. Yeah, what? They don't know if they have to or not. They don't have anyone to compare it to other than like watching. I would say that maybe they don't know when it's erect, because maybe not many men are going to compare themselves when they're erect. But when penises are flaccid, especially from a very young age, you get a lot of comparisons and games and peeing games and, and you know, that's guy stuff. It seems, seems to be at a very young age, perhaps not as you get older, and definitely not. Like the women, like you can just see women and know what breast size, breast size, breast size, breast size, breast size, breast size and breast size is, and like measure immediately off of that. So like there's more actual like reasons to feel inadequate because people actually look human as well. Okay, so you're right. Not. But I, I would also want to paint, paint a picture that here you do have a male, let's say, that can cover themselves up and not be kind of discovered with the clothes that they're wearing. But it is, it is a very vulnerable situation to then be naked, 
right? And have your stuff now be seen and have a negative reaction. That's a lot more vulnerable. You're in this very personal, emotional, um, sexual kind of state, and you're totally naked. And if someone's like, what? Or they just make a face like, oh, whatever, I'm really not in the mood anymore. That can be a lot more harmful to a male than, than perhaps what females go through. I'm not uh, comparing the two. I don't want to say that one is harder than the other. I just want to paint how difficult this one particular area can be. And it is a very um, sensitive situation. And it is only discovered when you're fully naked. And that's a time when you're kind of like, quote unquote, caught with your pants down. And that's very kind of like, what do I do now? Because that's, that's me that you just laughed at or made fun of. And some women will be like, what is that? What are you going to do with that? <laughs> you know? Some women are very insensitive that way. The same way where then, when they're in the club, they're like, yeah, whatever. I'm not trying to give my number. That same thing could happen in bed. I saw a couple of hands. I don't know who was. Jessica? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I would say breast size is really close to having this kind of importance. And, you know, no, I agree with you. I, I yeah. don't want to put one over the other. Yeah, and the other thing is that women get sexually selected by men, subconsciously and consciously, because it's indicators of femininity like breast size and hip waist ratio and right. like hair length. So, you know, so, you know, we're not sexually selected. You know, we like to say, you can't tell a female size because they're not getting, you know, sexually selected based on that. No, you're absolutely right. I don't want to diminish the experience of females at all. And it's a very difficult experience. But I just think that we overlook the experience for males, and I'm just trying to highlight that by comparing it to females. Again, this is a time that we we don't, for the females in the room, some males may be, again, they're not really speaking up, but they can think like, gosh, I guess that is kind of true. But this is a very different situation. And again, the point of discovery Again, females are always on display, and we always have to be aware. This is why females feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even go to the grocery store unless I put on a cute outfit and put all my makeup on and do my hair. But it's a very different experience to be able to live your life relatively comfortably and think you're pretty confident and get to that one point where that one female is like, wow, I'm calling my friend and I'm making fun of you or whatever. That can really cause you to crumble. Again, males are taught to be less emotionally expressive. So when there are these things that negatively affect them, they tend not to handle it as well because they haven't been trained to, right? They haven't been socialized how to manage their emotions. So when something that negative hits them, they can take it very personally. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's more intense because it's something males have the luxury of not having to deal with all the time. Until you're blasted with that. Have the luxury of not having to deal with what? All this time I thought I was okay. Like, see, that's... I don't know, I was just something else like... I looked at you, what were you talking about? Like, guys shouldn't be judged by the size of their dick. Mm -hmm. They should be used, they should, they should be judged by, the, by what they do. Like, if you're doing, like, you know, if you're a responsible man, you're going to go, you know, okay, for an example, like, um, they get a girl pregnant, you know, and if they're mad enough to stand up for their responsibilities and know they made a mistake, and they're willing to support the girl, <laughs> No, that's something totally different than saying, oh, you're pregnant, I don't even know you, kind of thing, you know? Oh, absolutely. You're absolutely right. I would agree with that. Unfortunately, what I'm talking about is a personal experience, right, for males. And it's, again, <coughs> just highlighting it, right? And it is something that a lot of males go through, and they tend to try to defend against it in many different ways. This is why we see a lot of males that may be more um, critical and negative and demeaning towards women. Um, may turn to feeling like they have to have a lot of money, a lot of outwardly appearance to kind of make up for areas that they feel like they're inadequate. <coughs> and this is a way to kind of paint some of that understanding to what we may see when we kind of encounter men like that, who again are often thought to be of as, you know, like pigs or, I don't know what the word is, just really kind of chauvinistic. Pigs, that's cops. Okay, but all the multiple terms that we can use. Um, Bastards. Okay, right, which is also, I think, is pretty much.